Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Daughter of Increase. My name is Nate Denise. For those of you who are new to the channel or who just happen to stumble across this video, and I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. So, like I said in the last video, I'm back again to do another tag video. You'll probably see this video on a separate day, though, but I recorded them on the same day, hence the shirt. And, um, I'm going to talk about this sweatshirt real quick because I know somebody has asked me about this sweatshirt and um, it is available. I just haven't posted it on the blog yet. So um, this is, or at least it was supposed to be my sort of Thanksgiving um, holiday sweatshirt for Daughter Up Increase. And let me just put my coffee down real quick. But um, this is what it looks like. So it is a open bible with the cross coming out of it um and then it says soul food hopefully you guys understand um soul food is in rose gold so it's rose gold glitter with rose gold foiling and um soul food basically the bible is food for the soul which is why i have it that way um and it has the black line underneath the sweater i'm wearing is supposed to be mint green um this is more of a neonish mint green but i really do like it and then on the back of my sweater I don't know if you guys will be able to see it, but it just says DOI and Zoda of Increase um, with black and rose gold on it. Hopefully you guys are seeing it. I'm not sure if it's going to show up well. But um, I am offering this sweater, um, or this hoodie rather. It is a hoodie. It's really nice. Um, I, I want a thicker hoodie, which is why I haven't really posted it up just yet. Um, it's not that it's not thick um this is more of like a springtime hoodie you can wear this in spring early fall i feel like for winter i want something thicker but then i also know that some people don't like super thick heavy hoodies so that's the dilemma i'm dealing with right now um again i am offering this in any color hoodie that you want and i'm going to offer this in three different colors for the glitter and the foil so it's either going to be the rose gold glitter and rose gold foil gold glitter with gold foiling or silver glitter with silver foiling um so those are how i'm doing that i just haven't posted all the information yet up on my blog so yeah but um if you are interested these are going to be for on sale for 45 dollars um yeah so that's it um <laughs> like i said i'm still working things out for this this hoodie and a lot of people have asked me about it because i wear it in my videos but i don't really talk about it just because i'm still trying to process everything and um Yes, this is a sample. The actual one will be a little larger. I'm going to be doing another one on a hoodie, though. Um, a sweatshirt, sorry. This one is a hoodie, has a hood. Um, I'm going to do another one on a sweater. And it's going to be a larger image with larger word on it. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much that. So, I'll have more information on this soon. I'm going to make an actual video for this because I had this one in, in mind. I have one that was, like, Christmassy themed. And then I have one for Valentine's Day. But the timing and everything, trying to get it out, is, like, terrible. So, yes. But, um, anyways, back for another bookish tag. And, of course, I'm sitting in front of my Christian bookshelf here. You guys see my other little cart here that has some Christian books. And then I have my other cart in front of me. Um, I like books. Um, you probably should know this from all the book hauls. I do have another channel called Nays Pink Bookshelf in which I talk about my secular books, which are, like, fantasy, romances, sci-fi, dystopians, and all that stuff. But... I started getting into a lot more biblical fiction and then I was introduced to Christian fantasy and then I started reading some Christian contemporary romances and my shelf is growing. Um, pretty much is growing. It's not as big as like my other books, but it's gonna get there. So I decided to do the bookshelf scavenger hunt that I saw on Lindsay from BFCG um, and it's books for Christian girls that she runs and she is younger than me, but she has eight ton of ton of christian based books um i'm very particular with my reading just because i like to read certain things but um i wanted to give this scavenger hunt a go i did one like this on my regular book channel but i wanted to do one that was more christian based so we gonna do this it's not as many questions um so normally i would run a timer i'm not gonna run a timer just because i'm probably not sure about half of these things if i even own them so um we're just gonna go I do know that there is an originator for this tag, um, so I'm going to find the original tag and post it down below, but I will also leave Lindsay's channel. You can just click the eye on the screen to go watch her video. Um, she has a ton of clean contemporaries, clean Christian novels, um, a ton. So we're going to dive in. Um, I don't know how many there are because they're like bullet pointed, so 
we're gonna give this a go and hope this video ain't like 45 minutes long <laughs> so the first one is find find an author's name or title with the letter z in it okay an author's name or title with the letter z oh ooh, that's a hard one mm. Mm -mm. nope no z's mm. nope um, you know, you don't think things, these things through, but a Z, I'm not seeing anything with a Z on my shelf. Not even a title. Mm, gotta move my legs. Oh, ha, I do have one because I just hauled it. So, the one I have is going to be Zipporah, Wife of Moses by Merrick Halter. This is biblical fiction on the wife of Moses. And I think it's her story as well as her telling the story of Moses from her perspective. So, well, we have this beauty. The next one is to find a classic. And I do have a classic biblical fiction. That is going to be The Road by Lloyd C. Douglas. This is definitely a classic biblical fiction novel that I've heard a lot of people rave about. And um, I know another one is Mark of the Raven. I don't own a physical copy of it. I own an ebook copy, but I'm only going to focus on physical books. But um, The Road by Lloyd C. Douglas is a classic biblical fiction about the Roman soldier that won the robe of Jesus Christ when they cast lots for his garments. He won it, and it's basically his story coming to the faith and becoming a true believer and everything. And it's beautifully written. I have read this. It is over 500 pages. Is it? No, it, yeah, well, yes, yeah, over 500 pages. It's about 508 pages long. It's written really weirdly. Um, you can definitely tell that this is old. When did this book come out? This book was released in 1942. So the edition I have is a 1999 edition. This book originally came out in 1942. So y'all know how this this is oh this is a classic um but it was really good i gave it five stars i really really did love this book and i will have a book review coming for this book really soon the next one is to find a book with a key on it i don't know if i have a book with a key on it we're gonna have to see a key um, i know that i have one with a key no it's no wait wait no 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 this was one i had a hard time with as well on my other channel so let me move my I'm really going to try to find a book with a key. So we're going to... I'm going to speed this portion up till I find a book. Okay. So, um, no book with a key on it. <laughs> Uh, moving on, find something on your bookshelf that's not a book. Um, well, I have this that goes on my bookshelf. It holds my bookmarks. I have this picture frame. Um, it just says, for as the body without, I'm sorry, it says, for as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead. James 2.26. It's just a picture frame with a photo I put in there. Um, and then I have all of, like, my bullet journals on there. So, yes. Um... Find the oldest book on your shelf. I don't know if that means like when it was published. So if we're talking like published books, definitely it would be this book, which is The Road by Lloyd C. Douglas. Um, like I said, it came out in 1942, date-wise. But if you mean like the oldest book that I have that I got, I would not be able to remember because I got most of these as review books. So, I, I I don't know. Here's another one that could possibly be like an old book. When did this come out? Mm. Uh, no, not an old book. So, sorry about that one. Um, yeah, we're just going to go with that. The Rope from Lloyd T. Douglas. Um, it came out in 1942. So, yeah. Um... Find a book with a girl on the cover. I feel like every biblical fiction novel has a girl on the cover. So I'm going to pick one that I haven't really talked about yet. And they're, um, are, uh, I'm going to go with Slender Reads by um, Taxi Susan Gregory. All I know is that this is biblical fiction on the mother of Moses, Jochebed. Um, it says Jochebed's Hope, so... 
Yeah. That's all I know. She was the mother of Moses. Yeah. yeah. So, um, there, she, she's, this is a woman on the cover. Um, a woman. Now, if they mean, like, specifically a little girl, then I have The Heart Changer by Yarm Del Buccio. Um, the little girl is 12 years old. So, it's a middle grade biblical fiction. So, there we go. Okay, so the next one is find a book that has an animal. Mm. Find a book that has an animal in it. Mm. Okay. I got one. Donald and Boy gets um Dawn Singer. They, they, they have these these like Pegasus type of animals. That yeah, they're not Pegasus. They call them something else. Um, what do they call them? They call them Winga Beast. They they Pegasus to me. So you got some winga beast and you got some other creatures that fly in the air. Can't remember what they're called. But yep. There we go. The next question is find a book with a male protagonist. Ooh. I'm gonna have to go with the same book. Oh, no, here we go. It's Scariot by Tosca Lee. Um it's it's about Judas Iscariot, the, the you know, the, the betrayer of Jesus Christ, the one who got him caught. That that's who this is about. That's the protagonist. Of this story. I really want to read this book really soon though. But yeah. He's the protagonist. Um, I do have other books obviously that I could pick. Like The Robe because it follows Marcellus protagonist. I could go with um, The Last Man at the End because it talks about everything from the perspective of Simon. Um, is there any other one? Yes, there is. Um, where is it? I could go with The Heart of a King because that has um, Solomon's perspective. I could even go with, I believe, Gods and Kings by Lynn Austin. Um, this, I think, is from the perspective of Hezekiah. I can also go with Return to Me by Lynn Austin. Again, this is from the perspective of... Is it Zechariah? I don't know who the perspective is of this book, but it's a it's a guy. So... I got multiple books. Multiple books. Moving on. So, um, the next one is find a book with only words on it. Ooh. Only words? Only words? Mm. You know, biblical fiction don't do that. They don't just do books with just, like, words only. Oh, my God. Only words? Okay, I got something. Okay, so I'm going to go with The Words Between Us by Aaron Bartels. This is a contemporary story. Um, there's only words. I mean, there's, like, books on the back. But there are no people. There are no animals. Um, so I'm going to go with this as one because I don't have any other books with just, like, words. Yeah, no, mm, mm, I'm going to go with this. I don't know if that counts, if I'm cheating, but... There's only words. I don't see any people on the cover. So, um, yeah. The next one says, find a book with illustrations in it. Ooh, 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 I have one. Yes, I think this one has illustrations. It does. Ha! So, um, this is the Arcade, I'm sorry, Arcade in the Triple T Coin by Rashad Jennings, who was an NFL player. I'm not sure what team he played for, but I just know that he was an NFL. He had an eight-year career with the NFL, so, yeah. But it is a cute little middle-grade kind of fantasy story, and it's really, really fun and cute, and it has illustrations. Um, Each chapter title has a illustration, but there are actual, like, illustrations in this story. So, um, yeah. We have that. I'm trying to find another illustration. Where's another one? Give me another one. Here we go. Here's another one. An award. Um, so, yeah, we have this one. I don't think I have any other book with, like, illustrations in it. Because most of my books are, like, adult books. So. Yeah, I don't have any other ones. Just that one because it's, like, a middle grade book. So, moving on. The next one is find a book with gold lettering. Ooh. I don't think any of these have gold lettering on them. Mm -mm. Nope. I take that back. Haha, <laughs> I have Here Burns My Candle by Liz Curtis. 
go lettering. This is historical um, fiction, but it's a biblical retelling. Ooh, I think of Ruth and um, Naomi. If I'm not mistaken, Liz Curtis Hicks she does her historical historical fiction retellings of different Bible scenes. Um, I know she has one on the two sisters, Leah and Rachel. Oh, I'm probably saying that wrong. But this one, I, if I'm not mistaken, is about Ruth and Naomi. Um, so, yeah. But go lettering in her name, if you guys can see. So, yeah. Moving on. The next one is to find a diary. True or fictional? Wow. <sighs> true or fictional diary? Hmm. I'm not sure if I, if I have anything like that. I never really looked, so I'm not even going to attempt to look for that. So we're just going to move on. <laughs> Next is to find a book written by someone with a common name like Smith. A common name. Hmm. Douglas is a common name. Andrews. We have Misu Andrews is a common name. Not Hunt. Um, Taylor is a common last name. So I'm going to go with this one, which is um, Journey to the Well by Donna, D Donna, Diana Wallace Taylor. Um, Taylor is a common last name. So we have this one. All I know is that this is a biblical fiction retelling of the woman at the well, the Samaritan woman at the well. Haven't read this one yet. Definitely need to. So we have that. Next question is find a book that has a close up of something on it. Um... I literally could go with any book from Tessa, like, <laughs> but I'm trying to stay clear of, like, picking Tessa all the time. Okay, so for this, I'm going to go with Sovereign by Ted Decker and Tosca Lee. Christian Fantasy, don't know what this is about. I think this is book two or book three in this series. Um, I'm trying to figure out. I don't, I don't remember. Book three. Because it definitely says, um book three so it's book three in the series of the book of mortals i do not own the first two books but i'll be getting them on um ebook but yeah it has a close-up of this right here um i could always also go with these books from angela hunt um they're from the dangerous beauty series this is delilah treacherous beauty um she has gorgeous close-ups of their faces with their makeup and they're so i'm gonna call them saris i don't know if they're called saris but I, I, I'm, de I'm definitely saying the wrong name but when i look at those i think saris but um yeah and this will also be the first book that i do for my book to makeup tutorials that is coming um, but as you guys can see, there's purples in here, there's browns because of her skin, obviously, and her green eyeshadow, her green eyes, excuse me. So I'm still debating on how I want my look to go for this video, but um, we can definitely go with her books because her books are like close-ups of their faces. But um, that's that. Let's move on. So the next one is find a book on your shelf that takes place in the earliest time period. Ooh. The earliest time period? Let me move this just a little this way. Okay, there we go. So I can relax my back. The earliest time period. Queen Sheba took place around the time of Solomon, so that would be a no. Um, I'm going to have to go. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. I'm gonna go <laughs> with um I, I don't mm. I'm gonna go with Prophet by R. J. Larson because I if I'm not mistaken this was a this is a biblical fiction retelling of Deborah. Um and Deborah took time around the time of the judges and that's all I know. I could also go with Count It With The Stars by Connie Lynn Cassette because this takes place during the time of the Exodus. This is at the very beginning of the Exodus as well as prior to the Exodus when um, the Ten Plagues came to Egypt. So this might be my oldest book. 
time wise if that makes sense like this would probably be the book that takes place in the earliest time period that i know of yeah i'm gonna go with this the exodus okay the next book is find a hardcover without a jacket a hardcover without a jacket i do have two and they're right here eee. move my nook out the way um I actually have more than that. I have four. So I'm going to go with these two from Priscilla Shire. This is Priscilla Shire's middle grade fantasy for, um, it's, it's geared towards boy, boys, but girls can read it. But um, it's called The Prince and the Prince Warriors and the Unseen Invasion, which is book two of The Prince Warriors. And then I have the prequel, which is The Winter War. They are hardcovers, but they do not have dust jackets on them. So like they're printed on the actual hardcover. Um, the other two books I have are from Ted Decker. And they are from the Lost Book series, books four and six I have in the hardcover with the printed um, design. So we have Chaos, which is book four, and then Elyon, which is um, book six. So I have four books that um, are hardcovers but don't have dust jackets on them. Um, okay, so the next one is Find a Teal or Turquoise Colored Book. <sighs> Come on now, Teal, Turquoise? Um, teal, Shelter of the Most High by... Kind of said, book two in the cities of refuge. Love this. Um, it follows my baby Etienne, and I love me some Etienne. I think his name is Etan, but I say Etienne. Um, but yes, follows him. Love him. Um, we have obviously a lot on the hill. I'm not gonna pull that out. We have Jerusalem's Queen by Angela Hunt. The spine in the back cover has that kind of teal color, turquoise color. Haven't read this yet. Definitely want to read it. This is book three in the what was it, the Silent Years series. I love this cover so much i want to read this cup like this book so that i can do a book to make a tutorial on this book like just saying um moving on i have probably cheating with this one but the harbor king there is a little bit of teal there and on the back and on the spine um excuse me i just hit myself in the face with the book but um this is by jill eileen smith it's basically the four novellas she did on the four loves of solomon into one book and um I had such a frustrating time reading this book. I enjoyed it, but King Solomon just frustrated the mess out of me. I think I have a reading vlog, so just click the eye on the screen to watch that. Um, and then I have The Winter's War. Um, I could even go with The Valley of Dry Bones by, I think it's Jerry B. Jenkins. Is this Jerry B. Jenkins? Yes, um, The Valley of Dry Bones by Jerry B. Jenkins. This is dystopian, Christian dystopian. Um, the water, kind of teal bluish turquoise color. I'm probably cheating with that, but yeah. Um, so those are that. Um, and then find a non, I'm sorry, find a book with stars on it. You know what? I think I have the perfect book for that, but I don't own a copy of it yet. But again, I'm, I don't want to go with that one again. trying to see if I can find a different book that has stars because I don't want to go with that book again. Okay, so I'm going to go with two books for this. Two. I have two. The first one is The Last Man at the End by R. William Bennett. There is a star, like right there and that was the star that was that was there once you know the messiah was born so we have that one um and then we have counted with the stars um there are literally just stars all over the back and on the spine and on the cover um i don't think any of these other books yeah none of the other books have stars um so we have that um and then the last question Find a non-YA book. Um, I, I don't got no YA books on this shelf. So, um, well, no, I, I, I take that back. I do have YA books on this shelf. Um, a non-YA book. I'm going to go with this one because it's definitely not YA. I'm going to go with Mind Games by Nancy Mahel. It's the first book in the Kaylee Quinn Profilers. Um, this is Christian Romantic Suspense. And I 
really want to read this only because it deals with the um behavioral anal the, the the bau behavioral behavioral analysis unit right yeah and um it deals with the fbi and that and i love bau because i watch a lot of ncis and suv and all that great stuff so i really desperately want to read this book so bad um i own the first two books i know there's a third book coming out and uh i just i want to read it so bad so i'm gonna go with this this is adult romantic suspense christian obviously um so yeah that okay so that is it for this video you guys this video was a little bit all over the place just because my shelf is small i'm sitting on the floor i'm trying to figure out if i want to rearrange some of my bookshelves around but i'm sick of rearranging them um i just i can't wait till we move and i have my own room i think that's the problem i don't have my own room i share a room with my son so i think when we move i'm going to give him my two smaller bookcases and invest in three new larger ones um, I really want to get some Billy bookcases from Ikea, but those are not cheap. Um, I just deal with the ones from Walmart. I don't find, a, like, I have a problem with them at all. So, yeah. But, um, that is it for this video. It was a little bit all over the place. I apologize. I need to get everything in order. But, yes. Um, so if you're not subscribed, subscribe to my channel. If you are subscribed, click the bell to say notify. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!